Hey everybody, and thanks for coming back for another puzzle. Today I have for you an escape room in a box from the Get Outside Club. Uh, ironic, I'm not sure. Get Outside Club making a puzzle box to stay inside. I don't know. Uh, this one is called the Excalibur here. I'm assuming the final goal is to remove this sword. You get six different sides, each has a, its own puzzle of some sort. Um, so we're going to get into it. I got a couple pieces of, of paper that came inside this. Need some hints. Put that off to the side. This is the cheat seat that has the answers. Put this off to the side. We have this, which says please open. We will do that. Finally, we have the optional scavenger hunt. I will open this after we solve to see what, what we got. So let's go ahead. Start with this. Boy, it's really got some sticky glue on this envelope. Holy smokes. Should have, like, opened it first. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we have this, uh, it's out of the way here. This stone um, uh, that has, has a poem on it of some sort. I'll read that in just a second. Uh, we have kingdoms of, of England. Uh, okay. And the castles of England. I don't, I don't know how all this is going to be related to. There's some things. we got a 20 here. X then Y. A 25 here. Um, I'm going to get the start button, I guess, when I start reading this. So let's see. Are you the chosen ruler or rulers? Only the Chosen will be able to remove the sword and wield its great power. Rules. Do not use excessive force to open or remove anything. Got it. No outside tools are necessary. To complete this challenge, you will need to completely remove the sword. Options, optional scavenger hunt if you choose to set up the... Ah. If you choose to set up the optional scavenger hunt, then have someone hide the items uh, in the envelope. Okay, so somebody has to set it up for you. Once all of the items have been found, then players can attempt to free the sword. Uh, if you choose not to do the scavenger hunt, then you can get right to work trying to complete the challenge. All of the materials enclosed in the box, including the items. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it just says that the goal is to remove the um, sword and the scavenger hunt's actually at the end. Uh, it's supposed to be at the beginning, but we'll still open it at the end anyway, just to see what... Alright, so let's go ahead. and We have... Uh, series of numbers on the top here from 5 to 35, same on this side. Two dials that have little arrows. Uh, point them out. That's tough. They're there. Right there. There we go. Now uh, it'll point to, I'm guessing that's the final step, we'll point it to a specific number and allow us to... On this side we have uh, three more dials. Do I need them pull? No. In this series of circles, it does whatever that happens to be. The line does not continue anywhere. Uh, we have a lock, which is so there. This is probably one of the locks. And yeah, it goes straight through the sword. You can see it's pulling this side. So we'll end up pulling it out that way. Uh, we have a series, another series of dials. Each point to some numbers, which will probably somehow pull. Something like this, the line crest. Okay, we have maybe three more knobs, but these ones don't do anything, and they have a series of uh, letters and numbers around the outside. But uh, I don't know if it's going to make a word of some sort. On the bottom, we have tiles again, pointing to numbers and the tip of the sword, and that's it. Okay. I did notice, so who pulled out this sword is missing uh, the U and the D. This blank and anvil is right wise blue or blue England, so it's missing, so we have UD pull out this blank and anvil, so there's something is it related to this, maybe? 
Um, so we have 20 and 25 with a key and a, a rose. Is there... So maybe let's try... So the only... This one is the only, has two, and this one has two. That's the only one. So let's try... I said it was 20 and 25. Um, okay. Maybe that's like the final... Probably. I mean... Um, it doesn't seem to be, so the lion, there's a lion here, um, doesn't seem to be anything, it's just a castle, and then we have this that says X then Y, nothing on the back, nothing on the back. So, we also have... All of these numbers, uh, the rulers, how many children they had. There's a lot going on here. Uh, so in UD, these are all the children, the lords. What is that? What are all these? There's a lot of numbers. What do all these numbers mean? So 50, 10. Hmm. Some more symbols here. We have a hexagon. This circles that are intertwined and a triangle there. I wonder if I can get if I twist and pull. Hmm. Oh, ha! Ah, I totally missed it. Whoso pulleth out this sword of this stone and anvil is rightwise ruler of the king of England, or born of all England, whatever. Uh, and that's where. Okay. Do uh, do do. We have a pen. I don't have a pen. Let's go ahead and just pause. So it's whoso. S O. Pulleth. So it's. Actually, south, bang out the sword of this stone, sword of this stone. And Anvil is right rise ruler born of all England, and that's what it says here. Okay, so south of stone, hinge, stone hinge. 25, and 25 has a little, little tiny, I don't know if we can see a dot in the, same thing with the, so the 45 and the 35, so maybe that's just stylistic, yeah, all the fives have it, so south of stone, okay, sure, and then we have circle, or square circle, one, two, three, last, first, last. Ah, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, are we going to have to? <coughs> well, okay, let's just take a peek. Line up the dials on the top of the cube. Do you see a shape on this side of the cube? Yes. Do you see it anywhere else? You'll be able to rotate three things on this side of the cube. This? Oh, there's the other square. I didn't even see it there. Are there three objects that you could put on these things to rotate? What? Am I missing... Is that in the scavenger hunt? Well, maybe I should have opened this at the beginning and I wouldn't have been so confused. Yeah, 
Yes. Oops. Okay. Well, that was silly. So we have. Okay. There's the line shield. Flower shield. And the keys. And these things. So we're going to line our. Like that. Get it. That. And lastly. Come on, get on there. There we go. Okay. Now what? I can't get them to rotate. Maybe that's this. So it goes W R. Hmm. And then is this where I put the oh okay. So let's see the rows went here. And the line went here. X then Y. Rose Bing fifteen key K E K E Y minus five. Rose plus fifteen K minus oh, Rose plus fifteen is thirty five. Uh right, Rose plus fifteen. Key minus five. Is it 20? 35 and 20? Maybe related to circle. Okay. What do we do with this? I can't get these gears to... Are they not able to? Is that what it is? Can you not turn three gears to be able to? Or do they just not... There they go. It's kind of tough. Okay, what do we do with that though? Eh, uh, I have to go back to the hints. Do you line up the symbols? Do, do you see any letters or numbers that appear along the line on the cube? Important letters and numbers will appear where the circles are. Yeah, that's what I thought, but there's... So is it eight? Eight R and then make any sense. We'll appear on the lines. Like this. L O R D Lord. Why is it saying where it's touching here? L O R D 6. What does that mean? Lord 6. Lord 6. 6. Yeah. 6. Uh, circle. This which one? This one? Six, and then we said it was, uh, what was it? Rose plus 15. And so it's 35, so we have 6, 35, and it was key minus 5, that gives us 20. So it was that, and it's saying 1, 2, 3, last. So is it 6, 35, 20? Let's try that. 6, 35, 20. No. <coughs> hmm. This 
closest. So six. Circle gave us, do I add them together? Rose plus 15. Key minus five. And then Lord six. Hmm. No, that's too much. <clears throat> Rose plus fifteen. P minus five. Is that related to Oh, 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 oh. Circle goes here. Uh, what did we say that was? 35 and 20. Square, what do I do with the number six? Six. Lord. Six. Well, that's what it says, right? to this. Oh, Lord 6. Doi. Lord 6. So is it 5 and 30? Number 1 is 5, 30. Hello! There we go. Uh, okay. So now it says cast me away. 3. Whether that's the third, this, and take me up, which says, uh, so it says 25 plus 5 minus 15 uh, is what? 30, 15? And so we have 25 from south of stone, 15 from take me up, and cast me away. Here to have the one where we get the final <coughs> cast me away. Is there something? The Lord cast something? Hmm. We're almost done. We just need. Final number for this, which will I'm assuming give us the key, allow us to unlock it, and pull this out. So take me up, cast me away, cast. Oh wait, there's a five. The the S isn't a S. It's a five. So is it five? Let's try that. Twenty-five, fifteen. Five. Bing. Yes, sir. Here's our key. Fill out the bottom. Open the lock. Go ahead and slide this out. There you are. Excalibur. 25 minutes. We would have probably would have gotten it a hell of a lot faster if we had uh, opened up the scavenger hunt thing at the beginning. 
But that might have been uh, the smart way to uh, these. Yeah, I just I, I figure these dials here have little half circles. Let me get this drawer all the way out. The drawer doesn't come all the way out, but there's a, a notch there. So this probably has half circles. Well, there you have it. Uh, that's the Excalibur box from the Get Outside Club. That was really fun. My own fault for not, uh, let's, wait, what's this? Why does that have a thing like that? What is in here? There's some kind of, like, The box is notched very strangely in there for some reason. It was almost if there's like, there's no reason for, ooh. There's no reason for the back side of this box to have holes in it, but it does, so why? I don't think this is, there's something keeping it in here, I just don't, unless I do, hmm. it seems like it wants to come out, but, no, I think we'll just leave it alone, yeah, we'll leave it alone, this key is a little, uh, might sit on it, okay, there we go, get outside club, 25 minutes. They have uh, they have two more that I'm gonna buy. I tested this this one just to give it a shot. It looked pretty cool. I love the escape boxes. So we'll go ahead and buy the other two. If you guys uh, subscribe and like, you can help me get some money so we can buy them. I think you'll feel good about yourself if you went ahead and subscribed. It would make your day. It would make your day. It would make my day. But it's especially important it would make your day. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.